Welcome to our lecture online. What we're going to do now is try to calculate how much energy is contained within the atmosphere of Venus. But before we can do that, we should try to calculate the amount of energy in one cubic meter of atmosphere of Venus on the surface of Venus. So on the surface, the pressure is about 92 atmospheres, about 92 bars. The temperature, about 733 Kelvin, which is about 460 degrees centigrade. And uh, yeah, that, uh, there's a lot of atmosphere there. So let's try to calculate how much heat is contained or how much energy is contained within one cubic meter, so one meter cubed on the surface of Venus, and compare that to the energy that the Earth atmosphere has in one cubic meter at the surface. So what we need to do here is start with the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. Now realize that when the pressure reaches something like 92 atmospheres, the ideal gas equation doesn't quite meet the, what we need, but for approximation it's probably good enough. And besides, we're going to adjust for the ad additional pressure when we calculate the specific heat of the atmosphere. So what we're going to do first then is calculate the number of moles in one cubic meter on the in the atmosphere of Venus right near the surface. So we solve that for n, which is the number of moles. We multiply the pressure times the volume and divide by the gas constant and the temperature. 92 times 1 atmospheric pressure, 1 cubic meter for the volume, the gas constant, and the temperature in Kelvin of 733. It turns out there's a little bit more than 1,500 moles of gas in 1 cubic meter on the atmosphere of Venus, which is quite a bit more than we'd find on the Earth, which is about like 42 moles per cubic meter on the surface. So then we realize that the kinetic energy of a gas can be calculated by taking 3 halves the number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature. There's 3 degrees of freedom, x direction, y direction, z direction. So when we calculate that, we see that there's about 14 million joules in a cubic meter of atmosphere on Venus, on the surface of Venus, when we're only taking into account the kinetic energy. But of course, gas molecules also have energy due to the rotational motion and due to the vibrational motion. So theoretically, for a triatomic molecule, and carbon dioxide is a triatomic molecule, and that's the predominant molecule in the atmosphere of Venus, we need to use 7 halves instead of 3 halves for the 7 degrees of freedom. Again, this is just a theoretical value. The actual value will be slightly different than that. When we calculate that, so what we need to do is divide this number by, by 3 and then multiply it by 7. So instead of 3 halves, we now have 7 halves. That turns out to be a little bit more than 32 million joules of energy, which is quite amount of, of energy. And again, what we're trying to do, of course, is calculate the energy in the entire atmosphere of Venus. So we start with just one cubic meter at the surface. But then we realize because of the enormous compression, there's the enormous pressure of 92 atmospheres, we realize that at a temperature of 460 degrees centigrade, which is 733 Kelvin, and a pressure of about 92 atmospheres, the C sub V, the specific heat, which is basically uh, 7 halves times R, that would be the typical value, theoretically, but because of the enormous compression, the C sub V is much higher. It's around 180 rather than 7 and a half times 8.3. So let's calculate that for a moment. So what's 7 over 2 times 8.315, which is equal to the C sub V, theoretically, of a triatomic molecule. So let's do a quick calculation here, 8.315 times 3.5, that's about 29. So theoretically, the C sub V is about 29, and of course that would be joules per mole, per Kelvin. So instead of 29, the theoretical value that we use here, it's actually 180, because of the enormous compression, which adds an enormous amount of heat capacity. And so when we use that value, which is much closer to what we'd expect on the surface of Venus, the amount of heat contained within one cubic meter of atmosphere is 200 million joules, compared to the amount of energy contained within one cubic meter of atmosphere on the Earth's surface is about 250,000 joules. That's almost a thousand times as much. There's an enormous amount of heat that's contained within the atmosphere of Venus. 
Okay, so now we're going to extrapolate that over the entire uh, surface of Venus and then, of course, for the entire height of the atmosphere. But notice that's an enormous amount of energy. To kind of put that in perspective, the amount of energy a typical household uses in electricity in a whole week is about 200 million joules. So one cubic meter of atmosphere on Venus, on the surface of Venus, contains as much energy as what a typical household uses in electricity for an entire week. Wow, that's a lot of energy. So now let's see what happens on the next video when we try to extrapolate that out first to the complete height of the atmosphere and then across the entire surface of Venus. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.